Hello everyone and welcome to this Isanzo video. In this Isanzo video we're going to be checking out the three brand new officer pistols that just got added to the game with the new update. Correction, it's only two new pistols, but I am going to be checking out three pistols because one of the pistols in the game did get changed. It got a little buff. It now holds eight rounds instead of seven. So we are going to be checking out that pistol to see how good it is now. But as for the new pistols, we are starting with the Mauser Model 1914. This is a pistol you can use as the German officer class. And here are the stats in comparison to some other pistols. The Luger has a slower fire rate, better stopping power, better reload speed. They have the same capacity of 8 rounds, and the Luger also has a slower sight speed. Here's comparison to the Revolver, and now comparison to the Mauser C96. And finally, here's the 1914 compared to the Breda Model 1915. So as you can see, this pistol prioritizes fire rate over damage, and it also has a pretty high capacity. Not too good of reload speed, but also pretty good sight speed. So overall, this pistol seems very good. Seems better for fast firing instead of killing in one hit. So yeah, guys, let's just see how long it takes to capture this first objective area with this brand new pistol. There's our first kill with it. We got a headshot there. Let's bandage up. Oh crap, there's a guy right there. How do you not see me? Second kill. Oh god, I'm about to die. Phew, got that bandage off. Come on guys, cover me. I also am going to be completing some missions in this match. So I can hopefully unlock the second new pistol, which is for the Italians, the Breda Model 1917. So yeah, let's see if I can get a lot of missions done. Hopefully I can. And luckily my teammates are very smart and they're going to the bomb site first. I actually have a video where I tried to record German gameplay, but I ended up losing on the first sector because my teammates kept going to the capture point if you want to see that video check it out i think it's called my teammates are worse than my dog at this game yeah that was a funny video to record it was also very frustrating but luckily these guys are smart and the bomb might get defused that's all right we're still very early into this match the sights on this brand new pistol are pretty decent, I would say. Let's check them out in detail here. When you're moving, it's kind of hard to see that middle point because of how thin it is. When you're standing still, it's easy to line up that little point with where you want to shoot. So yeah, pretty good sights on this thing. I love the 8 round capacity, that's very nice. And I don't see anyone. Okay, there's some guys here. I actually forgot to plant the bomb, so that's something we need to do. Alright, I think I spoke too soon. My teammates are actually going over to that other area. That's annoying. We need to prioritize capture point B, not capture point, bomb site. Not sure why I'm using this thing. Probably not going to get any kills from all the way out there. Let's approach. Do I have the, oh, I don't. I thought I was going to have the flare gun equipped, but I forgot. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Very nice. 
We leveled up as well, that's good. You need to be level 15 to get the quest for this brand new pistol. See if we can get kind of a long range kill on this bot that's just walking back and forth. Luckily this 8 round capacity makes it so I can miss quite a li little bit. And I think he got away. That's unfortunate. Oh, I got a guy right here. Let's take him out. Oh, crap. Oh, he's down. How, how did he die? I didn't even shoot. What happened there? Did he die of fall damage or something? He dropped down. I don't think that happened. Not sure how I got that uh, weird invisible kill. And also, for anyone wondering, you unlocked this brand new... Mauser model 1914 at level one challenges. So it's very easy to unlock this. And also for anyone wondering, you can't use it with the assault class, the marksman class, or the engineer class. So the only class you can use this brand new pistol with is the officer class. So we are probably going to win this very easily. We got the whole squad here. Do a quick little reload. This thing does have a reload on the longer side. Which is rather unfortunate. But it makes up for it with the fire rate. So it's not too bad. And the bomb hasn't been planted yet. What are my teammates doing? Alright, now we're up in there. Probably gonna get it off in just one second here. I do want to place a couple of call-ins. Possibly, actually, you know what? That's too much work. Let's just run in here and see if we can get one or two kills with the pistol before we capture this first section of the map we got an enemy officer right there headshotted that guy oh no oh crap that's an enemy I thought my teammate was right there in front of the barricade and we're losing control on capture point A alright guys this is not doing too well I need to get over to capture point a to help out my teammates and actually I might be able to use the flares that I dropped for a call-in let's drop a damn that guy's just camping there that's not good I almost got that call-in off but got killed right before all right objective B is destroyed now we just need to take A real quick. And that's a, the first sector of the map cleared with the brand new Mauser Model 1914. My opinions on this gun, very good. You unlock it at level 1, which is nice. So you get to use it with the German officer very quickly. It is probably better than the Luger with a... Faster fire rate. Actually, I take that back. I think the Luger might be better with better reload speed and more damage. But this thing does have a nice fast fire rate and decent sight speeds that help you aim in faster. In comparison to some other pistols in this game, I think this brand new pistol ranks pretty decently. But I wouldn't say it is the best in the game. So now let's move on to the next pistol. Alright guys, so this next pistol is the Beretta Model 1917. Now as you can see, I haven't unlocked it yet because it is a very difficult pistol to unlock. You need to be level 15 with the officer and you also need to earn 500 points from followed orders. So I don't have the brand new pistol yet, but it shouldn't take long for me to unlock it. 
just need to simply order some people around with this whistle and then I should have this thing unlocked in no time. So as you can see at the bottom there, I am getting points for orders followed, but I am dead, so they don't count while you're not alive. That's something that's quite annoying. Not sure why that's even a thing, honestly. And now I'm probably gonna die because, oh my God, I tried to shoot that guy with the flare gun by accident. And as you can see, the one I'm using right now is the 1915, but now I just unlocked the brand new set of weapons and perks. So I am going to be equipping Alpine Officer, allows you to spawn on all players near objectives. That's very nice. And now let me equip this brand new pistol. The Beretta 1917. As you can see by the stats, this seems like one of the best pistols in the game. Compared to the 1915, it is a direct upgrade with better fire rate, stopping power, reload speed, and has an 8 round ammo capacity, plus better sight speed. So by the stats, this seem, seems really good, but let's see in practice, is it good enough to help me win? this game of Isanzo. Hopefully I will win. And if I do, it might prove that this is the best pistol in the game. With that eight round capacity and fast reload, this thing is very good. But is it good enough to help me win? Let's see. Actually, before I get back into this battle, let's compare it to some other pistols. This is the Glacenti Model 1910. This thing has better stopping power, but the 1917 has much better fire rate, reload speed, ammo capacity, and sight speed. And this is it compared to the Steyr Hahn, and also to the Bodeo pistol. So yeah, very good stats that are being displayed by the 1917. Not the best iron sights, I will say. Maybe a bit difficult, maybe a bit worse than the 1915, in my opinion. Not too sure if those are better or worse. It's kind of up to your own opinion. But we are losing a lot of control on our objective which is very annoying and as you can see this new perk is coming into effect here I can spawn on all these different guys that's helpful so let's throw on this gas mask and hopefully take a few guys out with this pistol is that a guy? I think it is damn he saw me before I could pull out my uh pistol and light him up that's all right luckily I can spawn on all these guys quickly hit an instant spawn whistle and hopefully we can kind of recapture this point we're losing our control very fast I have noticed in this game it has gone by quite quick and quite one-sided they have been destroying us a little bit and I do like this reload. It's very quick, very swift. Very easy. And you get eight rounds, so yeah. Very good pistol. How did that guy not die? Hold up. Was there two guys there? Because I shot, I shot one, and I thought 100% he died. Maybe I'm wrong? That's all right. Actually, that's not all right. We're, we're, we're losing big time. Damn. Yep, I don't know, guys. We're not winning this, that's for sure. Quick, do a quick reload. That's not a guy. Oh, that's a guy. Damn. 
They are about to win the game. Look at how many they have. That's just unfair. Please let me get one more kill with this pistol before I end it off. Damn, I can't even get one more kill? Really? Oh my, we lost that badly. We got absolutely destroyed there. Well, I guess the pistol isn't good enough to help me win. But, I have to say, from the short little bit I got to play with it, it did, did seem very good. Like, the stats say it's directly better than the 1915, and it did feel pretty good to use. Now, real quickly, before I show this last pistol that isn't new but got updated, let me compare the 1917 to the German gun I just used. So this is the 1917. Remember those stats? And now the German gun. Ooh, very similar stats. Identical in the first two stats. Mauser has a longer reload, and they both have the exact same sight speed. So the Breda model 1917 is directly better than the 15, and also the Mauser 14. So that's something to keep in mind. And now let's move on to the from a stop which got updated and now has an eight round capacity let's see how good it is all right guys i'm in a match i'm playing on the carso map as a defensive austro-hungarian officer so as you can see this is the pistol we're going to be playing as right now the from a stop from -er stop not sure how to say it but here's it in comparison to the Steyr Han. Much faster fire rate. Lower stopping power. Faster reload speed. Same capacity. And this gun also has a better sight speed than the Steyr Han. Here's it in comparison to the Roth Steyr. Also in comparison to the 1915 pistol. As you can see, the 1915 just seems to be very trash. This Frommer stop is also better than it, just like the 1917 is better than it. So yeah, 1915 might be the worst pistol in the game, possibly. And here's it in comparison to the Rost and Gosser model 1918, nine, no, 1898. I said that completely wrong. But yeah, now let's hop into this game. I'm pretty sure all other stats have been kept the same. That I know of. It's just the extra one capacity that is added to this gun. Not sure if they felt like it was not good enough before. Yeah, not really sure why they decided to buff it. But hey... It makes this gun better, and it makes the Austro-Hungarian officer better. Before this update, the Austro-Hungarian officer was the only officer to have four different pistols. And now with a new Italian pistol and a new German pistol, now all classes have the same amount of pistols. All factions, I mean. So that's good. Still, certain classes have more rifles or different options, but that's not always a bad thing. It's it's cool to have different options depending on which faction you pick. And now let's put this pistol to use. There's some guys creeping up right there. Damn, how did I not see that guy that was right in front of me? Should have shot at him instead of the guy that was a little far away. Once I spawn back in here, let's do a little iron sight test. Also, I unlock the canteen. Let's use that. And make sure to have that brand new perk equipped. Take a little sip of the canteen. 
And now let's check out the iron sights on this thing. Alright, this is probably the worst iron sights out of the two pistols that I've checked out today. The two other ones, and it's probably not the best out of all the pistols. Very hard to see that little dot. But I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Still gets the job done. Oh my god, I am horrible at aiming. What was that? No way I had two enemies in front of me, and I missed every single shot I took. That was not good, guys. Let's hope I can get back in this battle and not have that happen again. And I should get over to this bomb site, because I believe, yep, it has been set. Damn, I am just having a horrible time aiming today. There we go. I think that's the first kill with this pistol. We got an Italian running up here. Let's try and take him out. That's getting a fuse. Good thing. Do some dodging here. Ooh, three bullets in the chamber. Let's see if I can get a kill. Damn looking out that's all right let's spawn back in here let's go to the bomb site because that's always what you should be defending first probably you can always recapture the capture point if it gets taken and i really need to for my own good and for the good of my teammates start using my whistle more i need to put a couple of instant spawnings down and as you can see without the other perk that i had equipped before that has the duration of the uh whistle cooldowns and now it takes a hundred seconds for that to recharge but it does mean i can quickly get back in this battle which is always great because it's not really the most fun thing in the world to just look at the map and not actually be playing so we got one down there, that's another kill, three bullets in the chamber because of this eight round capacity, let's take out a third guy, oh crap, there's a guy right there, let's see if we can maybe defuse this, we got a large wave of people coming in here, Can't put down another instant spawn just yet. But at least we got that defusal done. Has my other officer put down any flares? Let's check. Yes, he has. Not really in the best spot. We'll put some gas there. And I should probably equip the flare gun next. Alright, that guy got taken out. Ooh, this guy's running for his life. Don't blame him, this pistol is very good. Ooh, God. Oh, God, let's see if I can get this reload off. Damn, he's smart. He charged that because if he wouldn't have charged that, I would have probably got that reload off and smoked him. Oh, quick. Aw, oh, damn, I didn't get to switch to the flare gun. That's all right. Take that guy out. Let's see if I can get a hip shot kill. For some reason, I almost never get hip shot kills. Like, no matter how close they are or how far, I always end up aiming in. Not sure if that's just me or what, but I noticed that I only aim in, it seems like. So now I gotta remember to hit an instant spawn. And also, let me just nuke the crap out of this spot right here. Hopefully that grenade's not gonna kill me. And now let's put a squadron down right there. Hopefully that'll fire some grenades. And damn, I didn't get my heavy barrage off in time. That's all right. Maybe. Actually, that's probably not alright. That gives them the chance to 
plant this bomb and probably make it to the next sector if we can't defuse this. That would be really nice if we just won right here right now. Alright, they have a large wave of people here. I did manage to get off something. Oh, turns out I did plant that bomb. Or I did send that bomb objective. Or I did send that bomb call in. Why did I call it a bomb objective? And now let's see if I can send in anything else. Let's send in maybe this. Actually, let's do an on the target. That'd probably be better. And this is a very intense match right here. They've captured objective A. We may get to get this defusal off in time. Hopefully. Damn. Oh, it looks like we're not able to defuse this bomb in time. Well, in that case, let's see if I can get one more kill with this new pistol at least. That's one. Come on. Let me get one more kill. That's two kills. Probably gonna die to this gas. Maybe, unless I can get out. And I'm dead to the gas. So I'm not gonna continue this round. I'm gonna hop out of the game. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. I covered the two brand new pistols in this game and also showed a bit of the pistol that got a buff. So yeah guys, honestly to conclude what I've said in this video, I would say that the brand new German pistol, the Mauser model 1914, is probably in the top 5 pistols. As you can see, it's better than some of the other German pistols. Not completely better, but has some cons and pros. But it is directly better than the 1915 Beretta pistol. So I would say the Mauser is in the top 5 pistols. I would say the From a Stop pistol is maybe in the top, top 5 as well I would say. Maybe top three? Could it make top three? Let me compare it to the Mauser pistol. Does have a shorter... Longer reload speed, actually. Same sight speed. Alright, so the Mauser is probably in the top three, I mean. I changed my mind. This is probably in the top three pistols. The From a Stop is probably in the top five because it is not as good as the Mauser 1914. But that extra round that got added is making this pistol a lot better than it was before. And now finally, the brand new Italian pistol, the Beretta Model 1917, is directly better than a lot of pistols, the Mauser 1914 and the Breda 1915. So this pistol, very good, amazing stats, 8 round capacity. Guys, I'm going to say that this is the best pistol in the game. Maybe you have a different opinion. Possibly you like revolvers and you think maybe the German revolver, which does the most damage out of all pistols, Maybe you think that's the best pistol, or maybe you really like the Rost and Gosser, which has an 8 round capacity. But guys, I'm honestly going to say I like mag guns, so I'm going to say that the 1917 is the new best pistol in the entire game. So yeah, guys, I'm loving these new pistols. Very exciting to get new weapons in the game. And I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.